Dan Dockich is wrapping up another season as a college basketball analyst for our friends over at ESPN. He can be heard from noon to three on the Dan Dockett Show on 93.5 and 1070. The fan and Dan joins us tonight on Sports Extra. Okay, so Dan, I come from this uh, a little different angle because I still believe that Tom Crean should not have been fired. But that said, Archie Miller is a heck of a coach. A young guy, a lot of upside here. I'm curious about the process, though, over the last 10 days, how he went from firing Tom Crean to hiring Archie Miller. Your thoughts? Well, it's our annual. They've just hired a new coach in Indiana. Let's talk to Dan from his <laughs> couch discussion nine years ago. We did it with, uh, uh -huh. with Tom Crean. I got my Indiana shirt on, so I'm all in support. Look, I don't know. You know, Fred Glass talked about and I didn't understand what he was talking about. Check marks, double check marks, Indiana guys a check mark. It, look, Fred talks and we just go, yeah, okay. I mean, look, I'm sure tomorrow there'll be Miller time t-shirts that Fred will be hawking. And <laughs> who knows what the process, I know this, I know that um, Fred got his guy, from what I understand. Uh, Fred was not interested uh, in Steve Alford, apparently. The communication, at least from uh, the Alford camp, wasn't there. And uh, so that's fine. I don't know what, you know, we're, I think what he meant when he was going to talk to an IU guy was like, if you text him, he'll text you back or something. But hey, look, I was very vocal that I wanted an Indiana guy. It's been 17 years. Um, Fred, I got to assume, went and got his guy. Um, but again, the communication I know from, from Steve's side of it uh, wasn't really there. So it tells me that Fred or the uh, search firm or whoever handled it, who knows, um, didn't really have that big interest in, in Steve, which is weird to me. But good for Archie Miller, good for his family. He's going to a great school. Unbelievable program, unbelievable opportunity for him. Yeah, you know, Fred's an old lawyer, and every lawyer knows the answer to the question before he even asks it. So when he was firing Tom, did he think Archie Miller was going to be the guy to end up with? Uh, you got me. I, I, um, I got to believe that Fred didn't have an idea where he was going, and that surprises me. I've never dealt, and I've dealt with this a lot, I've never dealt with a good athletic director that didn't have the guy in place uh, before right. uh, he fired. In fact, I have had athletic directors sitting in my office, Dave, um, before Billy Donovan even left Marshall to go to Florida. I mean, I, it, it, I've had that so often. Same with West Virginia. When I went to West Virginia, I had the job before anybody knew about it. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really understand it, um, but I've got to assume uh, one of two things. Either uh, Archie Miller was his guy all along, which I'm going to say that he is, sure. or that Fred Glass got turned down by people. You know, the rumors that you heard about Billy Donovan, you knew those were nonsense. Because, look, when you're dealing with Alford or you're dealing with Billy Donovan, here's the deal. They're not going to be one of five guys, four guys. You either want them and you offer them or you don't. Right. And that's it. Yeah, you know, like you said, Fred talked a lot about IU guys, but I know for a fact, Dane Fife, he was never interviewed <laughs> for this job. So where do IU players now fit in this new era? Well, Indiana's made it clear, uh, very clear over the years. In fact, it was told to me when I was down there nine years ago that there's a new sheriff in town and blah, 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 blah. Look, they, they've made it clear. Come back for a reunion. Uh, we'll put you in the media guide. We'll talk about all your accomplishments. But you know what? We don't, we don't really uh, want to be around the history. We don't really want to be around the tradition. And you know, quite frankly, that's cool. I totally get it. Right. You know, every coach that comes in there, and again, it's been five, every coach that comes in there, they've got their own thing. You know, when Tom came in, we heard about Dwayne Wade. When, when Samson came in, we got to hear about uh, Hollis, whatever the guy's <laughs> name is. I forget, a little guard. Um, so every guy comes in and they talk about their past. So, hey, look, this is Archie Miller's program. And Archie's earned it. He's had a great career at Dayton. And I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to, to seeing what happens. But in terms of, you know, former IU players, you can't cry about it. Well, there's no doubt that he has earned this right. So my question now is, what do IU fans expect from an Archie Miller-led team? Well, I, I think that, you know, in looking at his teams, he's played defense, yep. toughness. Um, they've played in a tough league. People saw it when Butler was in there for a year or two. Uh, the Atlantic 10's no joke. You know, he's coming from a great program. So when people say, well, is he ready? You know, I sit there and go, wait a second. He, then you don't understand Dayton. Dayton's sold out. Yep. Dayton's big-time basketball program. Like, in Ohio, 
there is a difference between all the MAC schools and then Dayton, Xavier, and Cincinnati. I mean, those three programs within the state are national. And you can make the argument that in a lot of ways, you know, Xavier in particular with the run this year have been, and Dayton, have been the equal if not exceeded what Ohio State's done over the last, you know, three or four years in the state of Ohio so and nationally. So um, the idea that Archie isn't ready for a big-time program is nonsense. I'm, right. I'm telling you, Dayton's big-time program. The idea that, that he won't know how to recruit is not so he he'll be fine yep. he just got to go get kids uh from around here and i think that'll that'll satisfy a lot of people but let's be honest dave nobody cares about any of it unless you win that's <laughs> it i mean tom crean yeah. won but he didn't win enough and i'm with you i didn't think tom should have been fired is it bizarre bottom line to think that now the head basketball coach at indiana is much younger than a lot of us <laughs> <laughs> uh I, Tom was a lot younger than me, so I don't know how you feel about it. But, I, hey, look, <laughs> uh, you know, one thing I've refused to be in my in my life is I'm not going to be the grumpy old man. Uh, so I feel like I'm 38, just like Archie. Let's go, man. Uh -huh. But I, you know what I hope? I, I hope? I hope, Dave, that we don't hear from, you know, IU people or former IU people, well, I'm I'm – Tired of the program. I, I, nobody, Dave, nobody nationally was more vocal than me about wanting an IU guy. Nobody. I went on ESPN. Yeah. I filibustered. But you know what? Life isn't always about getting what you want. I think we've got a really good coach in there. As I said, I've got my Indiana shirt on today. And let's go. All right. Lastly, baseball season begins a week from tonight. How many uh, wins for the Cubs this season? Hey, I had my Cubs hat on before, but I wanted you all to see my magnificent hair because I think it was looking really good today, Dave. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling with it, Big D. It's like I saw 96 or 97 and a half is the over-under. Man, hey. That seems low. Wins. I'm with you on that. But. I'm a little worried about the pitching staff. All right. I'm a little worried about last year, one injury, one injury really, Dave, one injury, and that was Schwarber. And I'm a Cub fan. It's like being a Purdue fan. You can't have things, you can't have really nice things because then you decide, oh, man, when's the bottom falling out? <laughs> so Welcome to Cubdom, <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. Right. Did you think they were going to blow it in the seventh game? Of course you did. Of course as a you Cub did. Fan. We all did. Yeah, so, no. <laughs> That's just part of it. That's just part of it. We'll be listening tomorrow, noon to 3 at 93.5 and 1070 The Fan. Thanks, Dan. Oh, we'll be fired up tomorrow. Thanks.